Let's check in with Pat Pagano. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. Good morning there, Pat. And a good morning to you. How was your Christmas? Well, the Christmas was fine. Uh, you know, basically, though, it, it um, we we got a little bit of uh, light snow at the end of everything. But the thing after Christmas is is that the wind for the past couple of days, along with temperatures only around 32, the wind uh, just never seemed to die down the past couple of days. And so it felt a lot colder than, than, than the temperature showed. But it was nice to walk out this morning and already be at uh, 32 degrees. So. We uh, we had a 67 mile per hour wind here in the Lower Hudson Valley that took my um, metal patio furniture and flung it across the patio, uh, smashing um, glass uh, tiki torches, uh, crushing one beautiful uh, cement statue which is irreplaceable and it also moved the barbecue grill from where it was up against the fence if the fence wasn't there the grill would have went flying as well um and then we lost power for two hours christmas eve uh so it wasn't too pretty i spent uh about an hour and a half cleaning up the entire yard because that's where i let uh shirley out and i had to make sure that all the glass was swept up, and I just had to put everything back and and secure it. So that was um, that was a pretty big blow. But afterwards, everything else was quiet, <laughs> and uh, my, you know. Well, once again, my ride in on Christmas uh, Christmas morning, yeah. uh, right down below my house, uh, there was a tree down across the road. But uh, there was an angle on the side of the road where I could go up because I got the four, but the big four by four. And so I got around that tree, and I got down very close to the main road, and then there was a bigger pine tree across the road, and there was no... So then I had to turn around, go back, go off-road again, and and come back into 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 work. And even on the main roads, there were trees down. Uh, and uh, once again, Sharon, 80% of Sharon was without power. Uh, uh, we Sharon got hit the worst. Um, but uh, right here, it seems like in the extreme northwest corner... Uh, and South County, Massachusetts, and adjacent Eastern New York got the worst wind damage. Uh, it was just, there was stuff down all over the place. It was amazing. It was absolutely it, amazing. It really was. Um, a town called Barnegat on the Jersey Shore uh, clocked 78 mile per hour winds, which is over hurricane force. So uh, that storm is obviously gone. And uh, our weakest system moving by today, variably cloudy, 50. Partly cloudy tonight, 30. Sunny to partly cloudy, windy and cold, or cold are 35 to 40 Tuesday. Looks good on Wednesday with sunshine, low 40s, and then clouding up with rain developing Thursday in the mid-50s. That'll probably quit uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, but then a second storm on the tail end of this one will run up the Appalachians and bring us a wintry mix on New Year's Day which means a wintry mix for us the way the northwest corner is going. We'll probably get ice and more power outages. <laughs> uh, that is probably correct. <laughs> that would be on the east. But I have to tell you one thing. After that initial 20-inch snowfall that we had, I'll take the cold weather and nice hard ground uh, to walk on any day. So, so uh I have relinquished my incredible hatred of cold weather because if cold weather comes and there's no snow on the ground, it's truly a lot easier for me to walk with my uh, with my knees. It really is. Right, right, okay. So, so I've adapted to cold weather that way. Now I'm going to be in big trouble if we get uh, another 20 inch storm and all of a sudden it turns very cold and windy afterwards. Then I then I'll then I, I don't know what I'll do. I'll probably just stay under my covers. <laughs> well, we don't see that in the future. That's Near good. Future. Good. So you don't have to worry about that. So um, what was uh, my, I was going to ask you, but I'll, I'll go first. What was my favorite gift of the Christmas um, barrage? Yeah. Uh, I absolutely love it. Uh, my family made me up a Shirley calendar. Oh, that's nice. Very, very nice. With different pictures of her uh, for each month. So I love that. Um, and then I got some T-shirts. Um 
t-shirts, some sweatshirts. I'm trying to remember what. Oh, um, my uh, my sister Dorothy gave me um, gift cards. I thought of you, Marshall. Uh, she gave me gift cards, but yeah, I got I got uh, a lot of things. I got this one thing that I have over here. Yeah, I'm gonna re. I'm gonna have to read up on it. It's called. Uh, it looks pretty neat. Uh, you could probably research it. Um, what is the name of this thing? Um, is it funny? It's probably on the actual thing itself. It's called um, Bondic, B-O-N-D-I-C, B-O-N-D-I-C, and it it would be similar to um, what can I call, a soldering gun, but it works on battery and it has special fluid. And you can bond uh, plastic, glass, you name it. You can bond anything with it. You just put a drop of this special liquid, whatever you have to bond, and then you take this pen and you squeeze it, and presto, it's done. Well, maybe you can use that on a cement statue. Oh, forget that. That's in too, too many pieces. I wouldn't even attempt. That's already oh. torn out. <laughs> that was in too many pieces. Wasn't, uh, you know, wasn't just an even break. Just wasn't an even break. And, of course, big branches down all over the place. You know, so I, I uh, went and picked them up uh, Christmas Day. Because, we, you know, if I wasn't having uh, people over, uh, I would have just uh, sort of left it on Christmas Day. But I went out there in the rain. You know, it was light rain. And I got all that work done. Some of the uh, Christmas decorations were hanging, you know, by their wires. I had to uh, scoop them back up. But... Overall, I have to tell you, Marshall, uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Uh, whether you're entertaining for two or you're entertaining for six, it's still a lot of work. I would opt uh, to take the family out to dinner. Of course, not in COVID times, but in better times. Just opt to take them out to dinner and just come back for dessert because uh, it's a fortune and it's a lot of work. And I'm still tired. But the good news is that I'm not doing, nobody will be at this house New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. How about that? That's real good. My favorite yep. Christmas presents were a cup from my daughter, Karen, that said, every day is a good day now that Trump is not president. <laughs> she Because she knows me, so she got me that cup. That's uh, a great one. Then Jill got me a real nice three-quart round uh, Le Creuset pot. Uh, which I added to my collection. I now have 12 pieces. Uh, it's probably worth more than my house, all the pieces of Le Creuset I have. But then the bad thing that happened, uh, my TV in my bedroom after 11 years, my first real flat screen HD TV, yeah. just up and died. Just up and died. So so, uh, so uh, now the past couple of days, there's no TV to get up to in the morning or turn on for light when I go to the bathroom at oh, night. Oh, that stinks. Well, um let me ask you, uh, you 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 got gift cards, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just go online, <laughs> order one online, and they'll ship it to you and use your gift cards. I mean, I'll probably get it locally. I won't. You know, I, I know. You get I, it locally. I, I, I don't know too many people you have, but but still, it was depressing. The minute you know, I, I turned the TV on, and all of a sudden there was a a logo of the TV set, and then there was a picture of a computer chip, and I said to myself. This is like the blue screen in computers. Yeah. And it was. It just died. Screen of death. Yep. Well, anyways. Well, Pat, I guess we'll check with you tomorrow and see if there's anything else exciting happening in the weather. Yeah, well, not for the next few days. So sit back, relax, enjoy it. All right. Take care, Pat. Bye-bye, Marshall. Pat began this morning in the Weather Center with a check on that tri-state forecast.